Welcome to the Kafka's view guys. So this is a reaction video, 2-0 against Spurs. This is a perfect result. This just puts top four into real serious grasping range. And more importantly, even puts third into grasping range. We're seven behind them with a game in hand, which we should win. Make that four, hopefully. I'm not counting my chickens yet though. Plus, if Arsenal pipe them like they normally do, what? And then we win our game on the weekend, one point. One point and Spurs are Spurs. They drop points. But before we get started, let's talk about the lineup. Whoa, the lineup caught me confused. Okay, look at it this way. Kepa got dropped. I was shocked. I was positive, 99% sure Kepa was going to start. And Kepa gets dropped. So I was like, whoa. And then you see Sarri's pre like the interview before the game. And he's like, yeah, I'm Hefe. I am Hefe. This is my team. And there's nothing you can do about it. He got dropped. He, there is consequences to be faced. I love that. At the same time, as I was confused because I don't like Willy Caballero in goal. But I understand the decision. He also rotated some players. And we got away with it today. We got away with it. Tottenham. Tottenham. Explain yourselves. Explain yourselves. I thought you were going for a title, my friends. I thought you were going for this title. I thought this title was going to be, you know, London is white. London will be Spurs. North London is white. Really ain't. You guys are terrible. You guys are fully terrible. Even when you think you're good, you're not good. This is meant to be our worst team, apparently. We're in crisis. Everything's melting down. We have a manager that can't tell our players to come off a pitch. But yet, you still get beaten by us. What does that say about you if we're dead? If we're dead, what does that say about you? And Sorry gave you lot an advantage. You don't understand. Sorry played Alonso. Sorry gave you Willian goal. Sorry gave you lot Pedro and Willian for half an hour. No hazard, and you still lost. How do you lose this game, guys? How do you lose this game? This is the most Spursy thing. I think there's a new definition for Spursy now. So if you've enjoyed what you've watched so far, quick interlude. You know, like, comment, subscribe. How dead are Tottenham at on a scale of one to ten? And if you don't say 11, I am disappointed. And more importantly, go on my Twitter and follow me as well, guys. So, like, comment, and subscribe below. But let's get on with this review. So, like I said, I was shocked with the starting lineup. I was really worried before the game. First half started, first 25 minutes, we are all over them. You can see the players are fired up. They want to prove themselves. Gonzalo, oh, I thought he scored the one that went off the post. And the second one, I think he should have scored. You know the one where Hazard gave it to him? They made a little mistake. Good pressing up top. And Gonzalo curled it. And you know what? I expect him to finesse that. I really do. You might say it's a difficult chance. But at the end of the day, I expect a top-class striker to do. finesse that into the top corner. Spurs got back into this game, though. Spurs fully got back into this game after 25 minutes. The last 20 minutes, I was shaking. I was like, oh my God, they're going to score. Harry Kane's going to pop up with something. Eriksen's going to pop up with something. Yeah, they didn't directly create anything, but they had us camped. They were literally switching the ball from left to right, left to right, attacking our right back and left back, allegedly. But we were strong today. Yes. David Luiz was a rock. David Luiz was in one of those moods. He wasn't Bolivian David Luiz today. He was Brazilian David Luiz. You know, one of those warrior David Luiz performances where slide tackles are on point. He's physical. He's anticipating everything. He's nipping ahead and winning everything. His passing's on fleek. And more importantly, he's rattling everyone up. That was a Diego Costa David Luiz performance. He was getting under everybody's skin and it was effective. It was fully working. I loved it. He was like a rock today he was a captain today i was very proud of him so it gets to half time wait in my opinion we won the midfield battle but it's just that they got control at the end second half starts the same way as the first half we start pressuring 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 high intensity i'm loving it but at the same time i'm remembering guys we played two hours the other day save something for the last 20 minutes save something for the last 20 minutes so i see william warming up i see ruben warming up and i see cho warming up I was like, oh my God, he's going to do that substitution again, isn't he? It's going to be William for Pedro. William gets his ass to that touchline. I'm like, okay, he's going to do it now. These idiots in the crowd are going to boo. They're going to be like, oh my God, sorry out, sorry out, sorry out, sorry out. I see Hazard's number. Prior to that, we did score. I will get onto that next. But I see Hazard's number. I'm like, what is he doing? I know we're winning 1-0, but it's half an hour left. And you know what? Hazard's reaction said everything. There was a respect barrier there. I didn't see him sigh. He was tired. You could tell he wanted to come off. But that hug at the end, it was the double tap. And it was the appreciation. Gaffer, I got you. Hefe, you're in charge. You are the man. I respect your decision. That was a power play more than anything. 
taking Hazard off, was telling the world, I'm in charge of this team and you guys are all going to respect it. It doesn't matter if your name is Eden Gozard. Pedro's goal was the biggest fluke we've ever, we're going to have this game. The own goal was bad, but Pedro's goal was worse. Listen, Aspi plays a delicious ball in behind. Adebayo gets caught out for the first time all game. Pedro shoots, he don't believe it's going in. It hits Lloris on his leg and goes in. Listen, prior to that, Pedro was ruining so many attacks. Yes, his work rate was high. Yes, he had a great performance defensively. The issue is, is this man ruined so many attacks. I've been, I genuinely think he's been around William for too long. My grandfather always tells me, right? The people you surround yourself with, Alex, is the people you start picking stuff up from. I'm telling you now, Pedro's been around William way too long. Because there is no excuse, right, for the dumb decision making he's been doing recently. And yeah, that goal came at the right time because after that, if anything, he got invigorated and he was a much better player after that. And we needed him to be scrappy, Pedro. And you know what? He did it. He done very well after that goal. So, Hazard's off. We're being resolute. Jose Mourinho, Chelsea style. Parking the bus, defending, trying to hit them on the break. Our midfield is compact. Kante's being a tank. Those deep runs, Yaya Toure-esque. He picks up the ball and running through them. We, that's all we, the only threat we had, literally. And then Kieran Trippier gives us a little gift. Oli comes on, Giroud headers it on. William sprinting after him. I've never haven't seen work rate like that from William in a long time. Trippier gets scared, passes it past Lloris, who has another nightmare, and I've never seen William run so fast in my life to tap that in. He wanted that goal so badly. He was running after that, but like the way I used to run after the bus to school. Because I didn't want that half an hour detention for being late. I'm telling you now, he was sprinting. And he still didn't make it, but I don't care. It's 2-0. Great win. Fantastic. But I'm going to go into some negatives right now. Man, we're just not the same team attacking down the left-hand side with Alonso. Hazard doesn't trust him on the ball. It's evident. And I'm, I know I'm repeating myself. But you know how many attacks got ruined today? It's just the idea that if Emerson needs to play on the weekend, this is the test. Because I understand Emerson played two games in like a space of few days right and then he had the whole extra time and he does not used to playing that many games so you know playing him now muscular injury and everything it was very likely to happen so let's see on the weekend if sorry picks him because we're a different force and more importantly the one thing i hated is every time Jorginho made a mistake the crowd got on his back everyone else was getting a round of applause Jorginho is not is he not a chelsea player can we not put our differences aside and respect the player Trust the guy, right? Don't make this another Bakayoko situation because Bakayoko was actually dead. This guy's not dead. Back him. Trust me, he will come through. But guys, man, let's talk about the positives. We did, there's no need to be negative tonight. No need to be negative. We just beat Spurs. A dead team. That's what they are. Dead team. I don't care if I rate Mauricio Pochettino. I don't care if I rate a few of their players. Davidson Sanchez, beast. Welcome at Chelsea anytime. That guy's an absolute monster at the back he kept gonzalo so quiet he bullied gonzalo today but he is still dead and that's the easiest way i can put it guys this was the Gafgas view comment below if you agree with my views and more importantly hit the like subscribe and come back and watch next time because the Gafgas view is always going to be fair objective and most importantly see you next time guys peace out